hello everyone welcome to another video of the career circle if you are new to the channel i am yondela mlonzi welcome wamkele kile um to the returning viewers welcome back thank you guys so much for returning and watching my videos and supporting this family please continue sharing the videos liking commenting um so that we can grow this family um so the, today's video is slightly different i'm not focusing on the student now but more of focusing on the people that would like to have an impact or make an impact that would like to transfer their their knowledge that would like to inspire and motivate the youth those people that would like to be in the TVET space and become TVET lecturers, trainers, or facilitators. Today, I'm going to plug those people that are interested in working in that field. So let's get into it. I'm gonna start with a bit of a background of how I got into the TVET um, space. So I studied um, a BA at UWC, University of the Western Cape, a BA majoring in psychology and language and communication studies, right? Uh, because I wasn't sure really what I wanted to do, but my, the, 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 well, I would say the career assessment that, that I done sort of pointed me to social sciences, right? So um, when I finished my, my uh, towards the end of my degree, I then had interest in doing educational psychology because I, 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 I didn't really um, um, want to explore like clinical and counseling and all those. I thought, okay, maybe let me explore educational psychology. So in order for me to study educational psychology, I needed to do a, 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 an edu a professional um, qualification um or yeah qualification that will allow me to teach because i needed to have a professional qualification a teaching professional qualification for me to be able to um, proceed to doing my honors in educational psychology so i had to do a pgce which is a postgraduate certificate in education so that gives me um, a professional qualification to become an educator in south africa so I did that, and once I was done with my PGCE, I then was exposed to the TVET sector through my husband. He worked at that space at the time, of which I didn't really have knowledge of it. I thought I would go and teach at a high school. So when I was exposed to that space, I then thought, this is where I think I'll be. This is where I think I'll relate better to with, the, with the student, and I think that's where I'll make um, the most impact, which is in the TVET space. So when I started, I was 23 years old, now I'm 32. So it has been a really, really um, great journey for me of self-discovery and I learned a lot about myself and um, yeah, so this is where I'm at now because of that space. Um, so, so for most people that are in that space, it is um, people that have um, general undergraduate degrees um, or diplomas and that have studied um, a PGCE, right? Like, the same way that I've done it. Um, most people, and some people have a B.Ed., but majority are people that have specialized in specific undergraduate degrees or diplomas and then um, studied a PGCE and became, you know, lecturers or trainers or facilitators, whatever the case may be. So um, in order to become a TV college lecturer, you can do it through um, studying a PGCE, meaning you must have an undergraduate qualification, right? Or which will be a diploma or a degree that will obviously align with the programs that are taught at colleges. So for example, people that have a marketing diploma or degree, human resources, um, agriculture, um, what else, engineering, um, business management, finance, all those people that are in the, that have those undergraduate diplomas or degrees, they can 
become TVET lecturers because we have those programs at TVET, right? So, for example, if you've got to become um, in accounting or public administration, then you would then, let's say if you've got a public administration, you would go and teach public administration, um, the diploma in public administration um, at the TVET college, right? Or if it's accounting, you'll teach finance and accounting or whatever it is that has accounting. Um, so you must have um, an undergraduate up until third year, the modules must be up until third year or fourth year that, are, that align with the programs that are offered at the TVET colleges, right? So that is the PGCE. Now there's a newly introduced program which is referred to as the Advanced Diploma in TVT. So that is uh, an NTF level seven qualification, which is equivalent to a degree. So that is for people, again, with diplomas or even degrees that would like to be in the TVT space. Now with this Advanced Diploma, it is focused on the TVT space. Compared to the PGCE, the PGCE is general. You can go and teach at a school. So basically they focus more on the school curriculum as opposed to the TVET curriculum, right? So you are basically taught how to teach at a school. Whereas the advanced diploma in the TVET, in TVT, will focus on being a lecturer or a TVET educator as opposed to generally being a teacher, right? And the curriculum that you will be exposed to and the policies that will expose you to are TVET related um, policies. So this is a new program that is offered at different um, universities around the country in South Africa, such as um, Nelson Mandela University, um, Cape Peninsula University of Technology, TUT Tswana University of Technology, I think, the Tswana is, um, and Stadio, which is a private institute. Stadio also offers this advanced diploma in TVT. So with this advanced diploma, it is the same thing with the PGCE. With your undergrad plus the advanced diploma in TVT, you can become a TVET college lecturer. So it will mean that you specialized maybe in business management in your undergrad. Then when you, when you study your advanced diploma in TVT, your core um, modules or your teaching subjects would then be business management or entrepreneurship and business management, or it could be economics, whatever modules that you've had um, in your exit level year, which is in your third year, they'll then be linked to programs that are offered at TVET colleges and those would then become your teaching subjects, right? When you become a TVET college lecturer. So um, that's the new program that is now doing the rounds and a lot of TVET lecturers, even current TVET lecturers are doing that because there are current TVET lecturers that do not have maybe a PGCE or an advanced diploma in TVT. So they are required to get that professional qualification that gives them um, um, a teaching qualification because with your general undergrad, you do not have a teaching qualification and you cannot register with SACE, which is the South African Council of Educators, because you do not have a professional qualification of um, educators. So those are the two ways in which you can become a TVET college lecturer so i would personally um if this program the advanced diploma in tvt program was available um when i studied i would have done it i would have chosen that over the pgce because when i that I, I i did the pgce they focused on caps which is irrelevant to what is happening at um colleges so i learned everything that i know about colleges when I was working there, when I worked there through experience, but not through um, the formal qualification. So for whoever who now wants to um, join the space, the TVET sector space and become a lecturer, I would highly recommend that they go for the advanced diploma in TVT. From experience, I've had a student um, teacher that also has done the program and um, from what I've seen and from how knowledgeable he was and, and, and how practical it was and how they were taught all the policies and everything that we do in the sector, to me it was really interesting and for those people it will, it will be easier for them to adjust as opposed to people that have um, studied a PGCE. So yeah, that's basically um, the information that I wanted to share with you guys on this video. If you are passionate guys, 
we need more young people i believe that we need more young people in the tibet space we need more people that have are specializing in their fields and let me tell you this people that have industry experience if you look at job advertisements of tibet lecturers they mention industry experience if for example you were market you were a marketing assistant or you were an hr assistant or whatever the case may be or maybe a finance clerk whatever the case may be you've got industry experience on top of your undergrad qualification and maybe your pgc or your advanced diploma in tvt tvt then plus industry experience you are a full package because you will not only speak from a formal qualification but you'll draw from your experience as well in the field and that is what we need because we are preparing people for the field they must get there and be ready to work so um if you are really considering it do apply applications will be open soon now april may june they'll open applications do apply and join us join us it is it, it is a, it is a beautiful journey it is a beautiful um space with challenges like any other space but if you really are invested in the youth and you want to make an impact do join this space um that's all from me if you found this video informative um for you please do like the video so it can be recommended to more people share the video to your friends family share it on tiktok on your socials wherever just share the video so that it can reach more and more people and that's all from me thank you thank you so much for watching until the end see you on my next video